The Death of a Dream. The Antonov AN-225 was the world's largest plane, and it was without a doubt a very impressive feat of engineering and technology. Unfortunately and tragically, it was destroyed recently in the war in Ukraine, and photos and footage show just how extensive that damage was. Now, I've been thinking about making this video for a few days now, for a couple of weeks actually, and it just doesn't feel like the right time. In fact, it will probably never feel like the right time. Uh, it just seems... As just too much going on. But anyway, uh, hopefully we can make this video get through this video without addressing too much of the tragedy and the politics that are going on out there. Something that probably does need to be discussed, but there are places uh, to do that. At any rate, here in Microsoft Flight Simulator, the Antonov AN-225 is available as a free mod, and you can get that from the website flightsim.2. Uh, the link for that is available in the video description. Now, highlighting this mod at this particular time isn't about disrespecting the memory of the plane or any of the events going on in the world. It's actually rather the opposite. It's about remembering what a wonderful, amazing piece of engineering the plane actually was. Now, Microsoft themselves have discussed it very, very briefly, twice in fact, that I've seen on their live stream Q&As, the ones with the Sobo. Now, from what I can tell, there does seem to be some work going on for a fully-fledged uh, plane, whether that's third-party or an official plane directly from Microsoft. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe some of you know that out there. I've tried searching for this information, but details seem to be very, very vague. What I do know is that there is something in development, and that was coming very close to being completed when events started unfolding. So whether or not that particular plane actually makes it into the sim is anyone's guess at this particular point. But all that said, if you still want the experience of flying the largest plane in the world in the simulator, then you can do that, or at least to some degree. So this mod certainly isn't going to be flight accurate, and the model itself isn't entirely accurate either. The livery, for starters, is fairly low resolution. You can see that quite early on and from some of the shots, regardless of how close up and how distant I am. The cockpit inside is also Borean, the 747 cockpit, so it doesn't have the true uh, Antonov AN-225 cockpit, more's the pity. Nonetheless, it is an interesting plane to fly, and if you're not a fan of the default livery due to it being relatively low quality, extremely low resolution actually, there are a few other liveries available from the Flight Sim website. So at any rate, if you're wondering what the big deal is about the Antonov AN-225, as if beyond the um, visuals here, beyond the fuselage and the massive uh, wingspan and the uh, six engines. Well, the plane was built in the 80s. It took its first flight in 1988, and it was designed and constructed in the Soviet era, Ukraine. Now, the really interesting thing about the plane, uh, also known as the Mariah, by the way, or that is its name, Mariah, which is Ukrainian for dream. That is the reason I opened the uh, video with the words, Death of the Dream. Now, the uh, Mariah is very, very unique, literally unique, because it was one of a kind. A second plane was uh, being constructed, it got, I believe, halfway through construction, and was originally planned for use with the Russian space program. That was cancelled, I believe, in the early 90s, around about 1991, I think, and, uh, well, the uh, second version never got completed as it no longer had a use. The Mariah went on, meanwhile, to be put to plenty of use, and largely due to its ability to carry huge volumes of cargo. In fact, it could carry a quarter of a million kilograms uh, in weight alone, that's in its internal cargo holds. Now, compare that to one of the most recognisable uh, military cargo planes, the Lockheed CM-5 Super Galaxy, which could carry, or which can carry, uh, around 130,000 kilograms, so uh, quite a difference there, a significant one, in fact. In regards to the uh, plane itself, the Antonov AN-225 itself, there have been some rumours, some speculation and some suggestions that it is going to get rebuilt, although uh, this largely depends on who you would hear the information from. I believe that Antonov themselves have said that they put the cost of rebuilding the uh, plane at 3 billion US dollars, and that say it will take around 5 years for that to happen. But of course, there are many, many other factors involved at the moment, most of them unknown, a lot of unknowns, in fact. So uh, perhaps, perhaps a little bit silly to speculate on that right now. At any rate, there's a glimpse at the plane as it exists right now, 
in Microsoft Flight Simulator. All the information you need is linked in the video description if you want to go in to check that out for yourself. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.